North Carolina politics are once again in the national media spotlight, but this time there's controversy over the race for state superintendent of public instruction. WRAL Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie reports the Republican nominee does not want to talk about the controversy, but Democrats want voters to know. While national media was buzzing about Michelle Morrow, the Republican candidate for state schools chief, Democrats took the opportunity to draw comparisons with their candidate, Mo Green. Mo Green is the former superintendent of Guilford County Schools and the former director of the Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation. The Democratic nominee for state schools chief says he's spent his life in education. I know that we must invest in our public schools. Green said he wants to run on big ideas, not against Republican Michelle Morrow. But he said the stakes are too high not to talk about her social media posts calling for the execution of Democrats for treason, like this post from 2020 about putting former President Barack Obama in front of a firing squad on pay-per-view TV, or this one calling for the death of Bill and Melinda Gates. We should not tolerate this. We cannot accept this. We cannot normalize this kind of rhetoric. Morrow's posts have attracted national media attention, but she has refused to discuss them, either with us or with CNN, which has also been reporting on them. Confronted by a CNN crew in Raleigh Tuesday night, Morrow had no comment. Do you understand the concern that people have no with comment. this nomination hey, that you now have? I have a question. Have? Do you vote in North Carolina? Then keep your eyes on your own paper. On Facebook, Morrow accused CNN of stalking and ambushing her. There is nothing that these people from other states and these left-wing media organizations are going to do to silence me. In a statement to WRAL, Morrow said, voters have chosen me to be the Republican superintendent of public instruction nominee because of my plan to put scholastics and safety first in our schools. Uh, we did ask Morrow to sit down with us for an interview for this story, but her campaign declined. Laura Leslie, WRAL News, Raleigh. Morrow also declined to comment on the Democratic candidate statements. You can find extensive coverage of what each candidate says they'll do if they're elected in the education section of WRAL.com.